Good afternoon. Joining us on the line now is Shanika Simon. She's a singer who's been on a long journey of self-discovery after seeing her father abuse her mother when she was a child to relationship struggles as an adult, all of which contributed to her music expression in her debut album, The River of Salvation. Her new single, Underground Railroad, is historically associated with the escape from slavery. Having experienced what it's like to feel trapped, this song is all about her continued journey and the journey of many others welcome to the show Shanika hello hi how are you? I'm fine thank you how are you I'm well I'm great thank you oh no worries it's lovely to have you with us and what a wow some some real tough times you've been through that must have been really awful for you as, as a kid having to witness that yes definitely not having the the language to communicate the anguish that I feel or even understand what's happening before me. But yeah, it was not the best. No. And, but amazing that you've been able to kind of channel that, that pain, if you like, into your music. Yes. I I feel really honored to have come to the realization that I had to address those traumas, you know, and look at them head on and try and find peace in the storm, you know? Mm. So how do you, how do you go about creating music then? Okay. Music, there's various ways. There's walking down the street or even being at the sink, washing the dishes and a melody just your mind and thinking oh I've got to dry my hands let me go and um, do a voice note in my phone or there's talking like I've done with my producer just speaking about where I am in life and um, what it is that I would like to communicate with the world and songs just um, spring up from instances like that. Yeah amazing and do you feel like you're, you're doing what you were born to do do you feel like music has always been a part of you in your life? Yes, um, if if I may, when I was born, my um, I came out. My mom says that I came out very um, quiet, and you know, back in the day, they used to spank babies, yeah. right? When they, were... and so my mom said, "There's something wrong with this baby. Like, do something." And the doctor spanked me, and I let out a huge sound. And my grandma, who was in the delivery room, said, "Oh my gosh, she's going to be a singer. She's going to be a singer." So. <laughs> Oh, how lovely so from so from the moment you were born literally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful and how about the kind of music that that you both enjoy listening to and enjoy producing yourself okay so I was brought up in the church in the Pentecostal black church so I've always had gospel music all around um my mum was a, a session singer she did BBs for Boney M my dad also um is a bassist and I've got aunties and uncles loads of people involved in music singers musicians so I always had those kind of soulful influences even though growing up as a teenager, I listened to a lot of rock like Limp Bizkit. I listened to a lot of pop like um, Spice Girls, but I love the Anita Bakers, the Michael Jacksons, or the Jackson Five, should I say, down to Elton John's. I just, I love it all. <laughs> so it, it does inspire me, but I, if I love it, I'll sing it. Yeah, great stuff. And you yourself, you mentioned that that your um, your, was it your mum you said uh, that did uh, backing vocals with Boney M. You have as well, haven't you? Yes, yes, yeah. Um, the lead singer Boney M and the vocalist Liz Mitchell is my cousin, so it's ah. like a family business. <laughs> How wonderful! And you've worked with other amazing artists as well, and on tour with uh, people like James Morrison, Sting, Annie Lennox, Will Young. Tell us about some of those experiences. Wow, I would say the first major one for me was when I did um, Ingelbert Humperdinck. Um, I think it was around 2015, but he was doing an album, like a collaborative album. And that was wonderful. We was in the studio for like two weeks. It was an awesome time to just learn from one of the greats, you know, seeing how they manoeuvre in a studio um, capacity. Mm -hmm. And also 
doing loads of sessions, as I said, um, for um, James Morrison, which is lovely because I love his soulful voice. And then um, not too long ago, we did, um, I think her name was Katie Prince. She did a musical. Um, she's a choreographer from the UK and um, her production was called Message in a Bottle. It was based on all Sting songs. So it was lovely. We got to go in the studio and relay some of his tracks. And um, this is something that he headed it also. So he put his stamp of approval on it. So it's just been great getting in there, getting the experience um, and just really standing behind a lot of great singers and learning from them. Yeah, wonderful. And what are your kind of personal ambitions? What would you really like to achieve musically? Musically, I'd just like to, I want to say make up for lost time, but I just want to go as hard as possible and spread um, my love of music with the world and really touch on subjects that maybe people don't, or, or should I say, find it difficult to to talk about and sing about. But I think as I sing, I get my freedom and hopefully other people get theirs too because there's somebody else who has a shared experience. And also what I would just love to just take it to the whole wide world. Um, Glastonbury, I'm thinking Grammys, I'm thinking the world stage. I'm thinking the sky is the limit. Oh, absolutely. Good for you. Good for you. And what would you say, how would you kind of describe your your day, if you like, a day in the life of a musician? I mean, I'm guessing every every day is very different. It depends whether you're in the studio, whether you're writing, whether you're performing. There's obviously a lot going on. But what's your kind of ideal, typical day when you have a really good day? My ideal typical day, um, when I think of a session day, for example, then you wake up, I will, I will take my children to school and arrange for somebody to pick them up. And then the session will start probably 11 or 12 and we'll go for about an hour and then we'll take a break and have a listen to what we've done. Then we'll go for another hour maybe. Then we'll take a break and listen and just let it be organic to feel the energy in the room and just go with the flow and see what we come up with at the end of the day and be productive that way it so must it's not it must be great working with a, a team of of talented like-minded people in that studio setting yes it's lovely because you feed off each other don't you yeah yeah great yeah. stuff and um are you always involved in the songwriting for your own stuff yeah, most of the time I, I am involved. It's my story. It's 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 Shanika Simon. So I'm always involved. It's something I've experienced, something I dream. I'll pen something and then maybe we'll work together and collaborate and maybe take it somewhere else, maybe with the melody and build. You know, we work together. Yeah. And your debut album, The River of Salvation, is produced and co-written by Glenn Scott, who's worked with uh, um, other amazing artists, Craig David, Sean Mendes, uh, Beverly Knight. That must have been amazing working with him. Yes, I love working with Glenn. He, he's, I would say he's my soul brother. He's older than me. He's like my soul uncle. He's great. <laughs> he's a friend of my uncle's and I met him at my uncle's wedding but he's just a godsend you know when people come into your life and they get you and I love that because then he's able to um, direct me in introducing me to the world really yeah fabulous so tell us about your new song then because we're going to play it shortly Underground Railroad okay so Underground Railroad um was written after a conversation I had with Glenn. Um, We were talking about where I am in life and where I've been. And, um, you know, after all the traumas, witnessing and different other things that I've been through in life that have kind of been like a stronghold in the mind that kind of um, kept me bound, if I could say that. You know, when you have um, experiences with depression or anxiety and you feel like, you're not worth much. So there was a low self-esteem. There was low self-worth. 
And then in 2020, my grandma died. And after her death, I really looked at her and I thought she was 89. She lived a good life and she did what she wanted. But if I was to go tomorrow, I couldn't say the same. So I decided I've actually got to address myself and love what I see and who I see looking back in the mirror. So Underground Railroad is just about that story of trying to get to that level of happiness, of security. And we compared it to um, the slaves, um, the journey that they took. It wasn't a journey that they did in the daylight, you know, where everybody could see them. It was in the stillness and in the quiet and darkness of the night where they had to strategically make their plans to freedom. And that's what I've been doing since 2020 is really been looking and connecting with self and making my strides towards freedom and to that promised land where I'll be happy. Oh, fantastic. What a, what a powerful story. And, and how are you getting on with that journey then? You know what? This journey is incredible. I could say I wish I started it sooner, but I think timing, all, all timing happens in a perfect um, order. And I think there were lessons that I needed to have learned on this journey before I could move over to the promised land. And it's great. It's, it's work. Life is work, you know. It's, yeah. But it's rewarding. Yeah, great stuff. Well, we've got the song to play now. Do you want to introduce it? Okay, everybody, I'm Shanika Simon. Thank you so much for listening to my debut single, Underground Railroad, featuring Eric Bibb. Perfect. Thanks, Shanika. Lovely chatting with you. For having me. Bless you. I'm taking a road that suits me I walk beside all my doubts So I'm looking for signs to help me Take me where the river runs Gone and time rolls on. The summer ground railroad has a means. By myself, some farmland, live a life that makes me glad. Chance to believe, receive, cause time moves fast. Oh, I'm hoping for a reunion. There at the promised land. Gone. And time rolls on. It's on the ground.
Shanika Simon and Eric Bibb there with Underground Railroad. It is uh, available to buy on our website. If you go to tre.radio, there is a music section there.